Clint Cosgrove, Rivals.com, here with five-star defense alignment, Justin Scott, fresh off a visit to Ohio State, game day visit, first one of the year. Uh, tell me a little bit about it, Justin. What were your thoughts on, uh, you know, going to the game against Rutgers and uh, any feedback you got while you were there? Yeah, uh, uh, since the moment they had picked me up from, uh, you know, when we parked, they had picked me up in a golf cart and then just driving back to uh, the, the athletic facility, you could just see that the fans, you know, they die hard about Ohio State. You know, you just see red everywhere. And then you see, you hear go Buckeyes everywhere you go. And you just walk into the stadium, the really big stadium, uh, probably the biggest one I've stepped into. And then just during the game, just seeing it, the whole, you know, all of it, every seat filled, you know, all you see is, you know, just scarlet and gray all in the stands. And then every, every big play, it just erupts in the stadium. So the atmosphere was definitely, you know, something I've never experienced before. Yeah, I've had a couple games there. I don't think I've ever come out a winner, um, but uh, it's a it's a, it's a cool environment. I mean, that the, the fans are right on top of you. It is loud, yeah. and they're you know they're engaged in the game, so that's cool. Yeah. Now, when you were there, um, any coaches, players that you really connected with, uh, you know, during the visit? Yeah, uh, three coaches in particular. I would say uh, Coach Fleming. Uh, Coach Johnson and Coach Day. Um, Coach Fleming was actually one of the first coaches I had talked to from Ohio State. Um, when I originally got offered, I was on the phone with him, and then he gave he handed the phone off to Coach Day, who actually you know gave me the scholarship offer. Uh, I was able to get um, a one on one talk with Coach Day, and you know he's just a just a good guy. You know, you know he's he's not afraid to you know just to you know connect, be a kid at certain times. You know, just to you know just to be able to connect with the recruits. Um, they made it really clear that they want me there and. Also, you know, they were telling me how if I go there, I can really, you know, choose if I want to play offense or defense, you know, you would just the versatility I have. So uh, definitely, you know, strong connection there. And then also with Coach Johnson, you know, him just telling me that, you know, him being one of the best coaches, you know, him letting me know that he could really transform me into, you know, one of the best D, D linemen to ever, you know, play the game. Yeah, I mean, you've become all of a sudden this versatile guy. I mean, you're a five-star yeah. defensive lineman, but, that, you know, I see you out there on offensive line just bullying people. They got you playing the edge last week. You know, you tore yeah. it up against De La Salle. Uh, but the head man sitting down with you as a 2024, uh, you know, that says a lot about, you know, where you stand with them. Did that make a big impression on you or, or leave an impression with you? And then, you know, when you left Ohio, uh, you know, did it change how you thought about Ohio State? Did it help them? Wait, you know, just give me where, where your thoughts and feelings are right now after the visit. Yeah, uh, sitting down with, you know, with the head guy, uh, I don't know, I, I just felt, you know, like a real priority, you know, them, you know, him taking the time, you know, before a game on that crazy, you know, crazy game day, him just taking the time, you know, to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with me. And I would just say, uh, leaving a visit, um, you know, I always knew they were a big time program and, you know, I never really had been there, so I never really got the experience, but, you know, after the, after the, you know, visit and everything, you know, just experiencing everything, I would say they definitely, you know, have gotten, have, have risen to the top. That's pretty cool, man. Uh, happy for you. Happy. It was a great experience. Uh, now, I mean, switching gears, going from the Midwest all the way down to the South, you're headed to Miami uh, this weekend for another game day visit, back-to-back -back game day visits. Um, I know they offered over the summer. So just tell me how this visit came up, uh, kind of your communication with the Miami staff and what you're looking forward to when you head down South, man. Yeah, uh, definitely. I want to say when September 1st hit, Miami was actually the first school to hit me up. They actually hit me up at 11 because, you know, it was 12 there. So they had some, you know, hit me up a few times at 11. Uh, but then when it actually hit 12 here, I woke up, checked my phone. You know, I got a, I'm, I'm in a group chat with uh, Coach Salve, D-line coach, you know, Coach Cristobal. You know, I could just tell, you know, that they made me a priority, you know, off the bat, you know, just making that group chat with just me and all the coaching staff. And uh, I was just on the phone with uh, Coach Salve the other, the other night, you know, him just saying he was pumped, ready for me to, you know, couldn't wait for me to get down there. And I said, I want to honestly say when I get down there, you know, the palm trees, you know, just seeing the campus, you know, just seeing, you know, I'm, I'm already knowing it's a nice campus. So, you know, just being able to experience all that and especially on the game day with all, that, all the fans and supporters they have. Yeah, man, as these uh, seasons are changing, I know we're getting a, a couple days of warm weather right now, but uh, that's yeah. not going to be the case for long. And, you know, the leaves are already turning colors. So those palm yeah. trees are probably going to look pretty nice. Um, you know, uh, any other visits planned after Miami? Uh, nothing locked right now, but I definitely want to get to Michigan State and Michigan. Okay. Going to head up north again. North, south, yeah. 
west, east, a yeah. little bit of everything. <laughs> yeah. And as this recruitment goes on and you have every offer in the country, I'm sure you'll, you'll get to see a lot of cool places. Uh, how about this? And I'll finish with this uh, because it's a newsworthy thing. And um, I know Wisconsin was a school of, of high interest for you. Uh, there's a big change yesterday. Uh, coach Chris steps down. Jim Leonard, the defensive coordinator, is the interim acting head coach uh, with a chance to secure that job. Defensive coordinator, uh, defensive guy. Um, you know, does that affect anything with you and where Wisconsin stands? And, uh, you know, where does Wisconsin stand with you now? Uh, I would definitely say, you know, especially with that switch, I would honestly say they definitely, you know, I've got to became more interested, you know, because when I did go to that visit back in um, March, um, you know, me and coach, me and coach Jim were able, you know, just to sit one on one, just talk defense, talk football for like an hour, an hour or so, you know, just to go over their practice, um, you know, just to see their film from you know, all different angles. You know, it was it was like I was already enrolled there and, you know, we was having a little film session. Uh, and then also my my um, relationship, you know, with Coach Ross, um, D line coach, you know, it's already you know re- very connected. So I would say, if anything, him, you know, getting that getting that uh, promotion, it would is definitely just you know, uh, going going to school on me. That's awesome, man. Well, uh, yeah, these uh, th- this time of year can be a little crazy. I think the coaching carousel started a little earlier than we thought. Has uh, a couple teams that we didn't know would be in it. I'm sure it's going to continue to stay interesting. Um, but, you know, having those relationships already, I'm sure, you know, that makes you feel comfortable. And, uh, you know, Jimmy, he'll sit down and he'll talk ball yeah. with you now. You know, that's yeah. a seasoned vet. He loves he loves his ball. So, uh, well, awesome, man. Happy for you, Justin. Uh, I'm happy you enjoyed your time in Ohio at Ohio State. And uh, I'm happy that uh, you're headed south, get a little warmth in, see a little palm yeah. trees. And um, I look forward to hearing about how that visit goes. And I promise I, I won't bother you every week moving forward uh but you're moving and shaking and doing big things man so uh you know wish you the best and uh hope you have fun down in miami thank you so much